Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody's got a two-part question. They're using the parallel drawing tool to draw this, and it's causing them problem. The second part is they want to know how they got dark green in the middle or a darker green and light on the edges. That's pretty easy. The parallel dimension tool can cause you problems sometimes. I'm going to take the two-point line, and I'm going to take the shape tool, and I'm going to right-click and turn it into a curve. I've got my nudge factor set on, let's set it on three inches. And then when you get with the shape tool and you select that, if you will select that arrow right there and left click, right, I mean, left arrow, right arrow. Now you have a symmetrical line because we did it from the same arrows. So we're going to control D and kind of prove it. So that shows it's kind of symmetrical. Now I'm going to take this and I want to rotate it to 90 degrees. I could have drawn it that way. Now this is where they're causing, having problems. And I just tested it. Look at that. Uh, it's, it's causing a problem, uh, the parallel drawing tool. So what you can do, you can set your nudge factor to half an inch. And you could control D and do duplicate this up and then control D, control D, control D, control D. Now in the picture, these are a little bit forward of each other. It's kind of trailing. And I'm sure we could do that. Let me do one more line. So now let's set our nudge factor on like 0.1. And let's take this little first line and move it to the left. Whoop. I did the wrong line. First line, move it to the left. Second line, move it to the left twice. Third line, three times. Fourth line, four times. Fifth line, six times. Seven. Something in that order. Now what you can do is select it all and grab the artistic media tool. Let's close this window and make it a little bit thicker. Woo, way too thick. Let's go like 0.3. So those lines are symmetrical. That's a, that's a really good way to do it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. Um, let's put a, to do that color, I'm gonna pick green. I'm gonna take away the outline. I'm gonna go to object and order and put it to the back of the page. Now to get that darkness, I'm gonna use the interactive fill tool. A lot of people might not realize this. You could go all the way across the board and you got white on that end. Well, bring in white at this end. Drag white to there. Now let's drag a green to the middle and see how it take away that. And now you've got a lighter color and it doesn't have to be that green. You know, you could go back with a, uh, like a yellow on the ends and a yellow on the end. This way you get two, basically you're going two directions and you could change this, put a little more green, add another green here and just do whatever you want to with it. So I hope that helped them. I don't know why the parallel drawing tool does that sometimes. I've realized that parallel drawing tool is a great tool on straight lines. Um, if we grab the parallel dimension or drawing tool and just hit that, I mean, it drew six lines an inch apart. It's a pretty powerful tool. Anyway, I hope that answered their question and thank you for watching.